Hey everybody, Darren again here from Sports Card Direct. Recently, um, as we've had new sellers join the site, which, by the way, thank you very much for joining the site. Um, without you folks, this site wouldn't be the site that it's becoming. Lots of traction, tons of great cards, tons of um, activity. I really appreciate it, so thank you. One question that I'm getting from buyers um, is that when they go to do the checkout, the um, shipping payments are saying if somebody buys 10 cards, their shipping is, turns out to be like $25 because somebody has $2.50 per card. We at Sports Card Direct do not control that aspect of the sale. That is done through PayPal. And in order to do that, we need to log into our PayPal account. So I personally have logged into PayPal. And the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your status right here is verified. If it is not verified, you need to get your status to become verified. And then from what I've been told by PayPal, you will see what I'm about to show you. The only exception is those in Canada. And I need to call PayPal Canada because of course it's different than PayPal US to figure out how we can get this to work. So for you folks in Canada, I appreciate your patience on getting this to work. Um, I will be instructing and have instructed a lot of the buyers to send re emails or requests to you to say, I want to buy these 10 cards, send me an invoice. So if you get that, just log into PayPal, create an invoice to uh, whomever is emailing you and just figure it out that way with them. But in order to do this, the shipping, you're going to click on profile and you're going to click on my selling tools. Underneath my selling tools, you're going to see shipping calculations. So you're going to want to click update here. As you can see, I already have a shipping, um, I guess, rule set up in PayPal. And if we click on edit, you'll notice that it's inactive, so I want to activate it and the currency for the shipping rate is going to be US dollars, etc. Now, down here, the shipping method will be economy, the time, it, this really doesn't matter. But what really matters is it's going to be based on what? Total dollar amount by weight or by quantity. So for us, we are going to want to do it by total quantity. So if you do not want to have any shipping rules and have people not pay for shipping, you're going to go up here, click inactive, and when they check out, there will be no charge to any shipping. That's why mine was set to inactive. So zero shipping rules, zero dollars charge for shipping, click that to inactive. What you can do is then do your rules. So from here, if, from, if somebody buys say one to three cards, it would be three dollars for shipping. The next four to six cards, it's going to be $4. And then finally, seven cards and up, there will be an, another $0 charged. So if someone were to buy six cards on my old shipping rate, I would charge them $7. You can go in here and do this how, however you want. All you do is click Save Changes. And then that's it. There's also a international shipping method. So I will click on the one that I have. You click on add. Oops, sorry. Let's um, go back. We're going to click on edit. Mine is inactive because I do not charge for shipping to either the US, Canada, Netherlands, Australia, China, wherever. I don't charge for any shipping. So if you do not want to charge anything for shipping, have an active clicked off. Once again, we're going to do by quantity. So basically, I was charging anything, any amount of cards was going to be $4. So for this rule, say you want to do one to eight cards, it's going to be, you know, $8. So you just click on $8. You click Save Changes, and then from nine and up, you will do $0 for those additional cards if that's what you wanted and then you just hit save changes and that's it so once again this is found under profile my selling tools 
shipping calculations and then click update. If this does not appear, the first thing you're going to want to do is under overview, check to see if your account is verified. PayPal blocks out a lot of things if you do not have a verified account. So please make sure you check that if it's there. Let me know that this isn't working and then we may have to get on the phone with PayPal to see why your account is not showing these. That's all for now. I will be doing another video here shortly about a new way to remove the listings from the site automatically. That involves PayPal. So thanks again everybody and hope you're enjoying the site and once again info at sportscarddirect.com or at carddirect to get a hold of me. Take care everyone. Bye for now.